Jacob Diaz making his way out to the ring and a big opportunity for this young man. He makes me curl. <laughs> Is this really happening? Yes, Mondo. Well, fans, I would say that our PG-13 rating has totally gone out the window here. Twice. Well, we do it. We usually have uh, karaoke after the event. Wow, what a fan favorite! Mariachi Loco, former AWS lightweight champion, Mariachi Loco, coming out to tremendous fanfare. trying to impregnate Jessica or Justin. Listen to this ovation, fans. You can't trust those mariachis. They're worse than sex. Well, the charismatic mariachi loco well, has the unenviable task of being one of the first men inside of this man, inside of the ring for the six-man gauntlet match. Yeah, I would not want to be in that ring, in this heat, for that long. There's no way either one of these guys wins it. I'm telling you that right now. Well, we'll find out by the end of it. They got a long road to fight. Well, as our ring announcer, uh, Miss Jessica, uh, pointed out, yes, six men will be competing in this matchup. Two will start. You're eliminated by pinfall, submission, disqualification, or count out. Once one man is eliminated, the next man will make his way out. Pure torture. Of course, the concept created in the video game Mortal Kombat. <laughs> oh, Christ! I'll throw that right into the kids' ear. <laughs> well, Earmuffs! The fans taking. Uh... Wow! Just. I am so telling Trish! How can you be a vegan when you eat so much dick? Oh. I'm back, baby. <laughs> I don't know if our microphone's just get popped up, that baby. One. Here we go. But um, wow. the vegan Superman said to take on Mariachi Loco <laughs> is one of the first two, and I do have to give a little bit of respect to Jacob Diaz for the amount of weight that that man has lost no, he, over the he, last year or so. He looks in great condition. His asshole has gotten much larger. Well, I mean, I mean, he's a larger asshole than he was before. That's what I meant. Well, we'll see how he competes against Mariachi Loco. Now off the ropes, Mariachi. Flips right over. Ducks the double clothesline, springboard! Corkscrew, cor cross wow. body into the pin. But a very gentle landing. Yeah. I don't think he wants to hurt him just yet. He's got a long way to go. Oh! Not a victory roll. Woo. And Mariachi cooking the gas here. And trying to end the nice crucifix pin. And now, Ducks the kick. Schoolboy. One, two. Whoa! And Mariachi is just getting started. Could you imagine if Jarrell like landed on his head and got amnesia, forgot he was vegan? What would happen? 
Um, I would assume that the first place he would hit him is that burger joint right down the way. Jack in the Box. Uh, no, I'm talking about the good one with the pastrami burgers. Ah. Oh. Everyone be quiet. A vegan's talking. Wow. The fans really getting on the case of the vegan Superman. Yeah, no one appreciates health. The health conscious. Well, especially some of those guys in the front row. Nice guy, my ass. <laughs> I'm a nice guy. And now I'm trying to go. Oh. I thought he was going to say I was a vegan. Oh, went to it. Got to go for a reverse DDT and now off the rub. Stuck some clothes on this mariachi. Nice jabs right to the side of the head and a forearm. Mariachi. Trying to go for a super kick. Spins the way out. Draw grabs the marks. Spins him around. Into a reverse DDT, possibly. No. Oh, oh my god. Oh. He just dumped mariachi on his head. Oh, wow. Well, I yeah. see he hasn't got any safer. What an asshole! Or any smarter. He just ro rolled Mariachi right into the ropes and he. Mariachi rolled his way out. You know, if we had the power of beef behind him, he wouldn't be able to hold him up higher. Mariachi. Mariachi is holding his neck right now. He might be hurt. Getting oh. right into Sean Two Seat's face. Well thankfully, well, thankfully, Mariachi is up and walking. Especially after a fall like that. That right there, that could lead to paralysis, fans. Now Jarrell back inside, breaks a 10 count. And this is not a smart thing for him to do. He needs to get Mariachi back inside the ring you know, and possibly go for a finish, for a pin, do something. I think the only way things can get worse for Jarrell if he did CrossFit, too. CrossFit? Yeah, CrossFit vegan, could you imagine? What the hell is CrossFit? Are you going to explain to the fans at home what CrossFit actually is? It's, it's stupid. <laughs> well, don't worry, fans, I'm not being sarcastic. I do not know what CrossFit is. I mean, I've heard about it, but I've never seen it in, in progress. Well, either way, we got a chin lock inside of the ring by Jarrell. I heard that when you're vegan, you don't sweat. Is that true? Um, you don't sweat as much. You don't pretend, you don't, you don't have sweat glands anymore. Wait, whoa, nice flying form. It's really hard to argue about about his uh, his diet because it's definitely helped out his wrestling ability. He's become a lot more limber and a lot more agile inside the ring. Jesus, what? look at that pyramid of past blue ribbon down there. Someone's getting down. Damn well, Trish. That's well, amazing. Well, that's the best way to enjoy, well, I wouldn't say the best way to enjoy wrestling a bit. But it's a good way to enjoy a wrestling event after a couple of cold ones. Especially here at the Legion Post. They have great beer. And now Jarrell says, Whoa! Nope. Mariachi flips his way out of it. Now, we try to go for it. Oh! Right back elbow. Now Mariachi off the roll! And a forearm. That days the hell out of Mariachi. Flips him around and dumps him onto the mat. And... How oh, did he kick out of that? It's clear Jarrell's target is the head of Mariachi Loco. Well, if there's any way to take out a wrestler, it's to take out his friggin' head. What I don't understand is why are both of these men wearing t-shirts in this heat? You and I are both topless. Well, maybe they're trying to lose extra weight at the top. I don't know. Believe it or not, some people do that. They will intentionally try to make themselves sweat to lose some of that water yeah, weight. Yeah, I get that. That's a little bit of fitness knowledge that they have. And now Mariachi seeing stars right now. Now we're versus the Irish whip off the ropes of Jarrell. Kick to the midsection. And a fight to my side with that hurricanrana. Jarrell's out of there. I guess that was his receipt for dropping him on his head earlier. Well, the, well, the vegan Superman has been eliminated from this match. It ain't over yet, fans. Looks like the fans are happy to see him go. See you next show. Wait, being a vegan, does that qualify him to work ladies' night as well? Um, that's a hard one to call there. It's a fair question. Well, I couldn't tell you. I mean, uh, to my knowledge, the, uh, the qualifications for competing at the ladies' night event, at least in the ladies' matches, are, I don't know, to be a woman. Well, now Jarrell can go take his nap. Well, Jarrell's been eliminated from this match from Mariachi moving on, and we'll see who can Oh, no. Oh, oh shit. I don't like the sound of that. 
you know, there's a lot of hate in this match. You, you think? If you don't know what I'm talking about, just look at the guy's shirt. One of the members of one of the most controversial factions in Southern California right now, Hate, has been running run shot all over. You know, I kind of like him. Well, I... Well, I'll give respect for his... Oh! Oh! He almost killed Strickland on that! One of our cameramen almost got wiped out by Mariachi. You I mean, gotta give Strickland a heads up! Oh Jesus! Well, Rico was posing away with the fans. Rico, a former AWS Tag Team Champion and current holder, or at least one of the holders, of the Empire Wrestling Federation Tag Team titles. Oh yeah, he's got my belt for me. <laughs> well, he's uh, using the free road rule, if uh, I Wait believe that all of the members of Hater He's stuck in a little court. Oh! oh! Kick to the temple. And I'm Mariachi. It looks like getting dumped on his head earlier surely isn't showing any after effects. You know, that's kind of the advantage of being in that ring. Loco is already warmed up, ready to go. Rico's coming in cold. Speaking of cold, oh, a beer right to the head. Middle of light at that. That's a weak beer. Well, at least it was a light beer. Oh. And another one. Well, that's a very painful thing to get that, that crunch can across your head. There's shards of metal that are on there. And a forearm right to the side of the head by Rico Dynamite. And a look. Ooh. Oh, wow. And a hay chat going on here at AWS. Well, they're rather popular around here. And now, <laughs> Springboard Hurricanrana. And now, this, at least this section of the matchup has officially begun. Oh. Uh, Mariachi, as you would say, is well warmed up right now. And looking to see if he can try to finish Rico early. Flash in the corner. Rico hasn't even got out the gate yet, Mike. Well, the man needs to man needs to get some form. Of, well, he might get that offense now. Ooh, swing he almost turned him all the way around. <laughs> nice swing and neck breaker. That is Spanish. And a Rico forearm to the face. And now look for it. Oh, oh. Wow. belly to belly. Normally, when you hit a belly to belly, you fall into your back yourself. He just fling him over his head like a sack <laughs> of potatoes. Doesn't have quite the same motion on the gyration as Loco does, but... Well, the man doesn't have a whole lot of rhythm, but... I'm sure Mrs. Dynamite appreciated the effort. <laughs> hey, wait, 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 wait! Hey, hey! Rico's going for his mask! I love doing this! No secrets! I own a couple masks at home. That's a terrible thing to do. That's one of those unprofessional things that you could do to a luchador is to tear his mask off. He said the words in the language, Mike. You did it. In what language? Um, I guess you can consider that our Spanish portion of the uh, the event. In Espanol. One, two. Only a two can after the big boot in the corner. Uh, Mondo, do you speak Spanish? No. Uh, oh, okay, fair enough. Okay. Well, but that was Spanish right there. What are you talking about, Mike? Well, I would like a translation. <laughs> no, no, two chops. Make it oh. three. He's, oh, wow. He's, he's trying to take the letters off of his shirt, Mike. Well, he was wearing out his chest, and now Mariachi off the road. Tilt to whirl oh. into a backbreaker. He got most of it. One, two. Rico only scores a two count out of that one. And I'm sure that Rico would love to walk out of here as the number one contender for the AWS Heavyweight Championship. I say you get that girl in the ring. I want to see what she can do. Which one? That one. Oh. She's talking about his mom now. And that's one thing you don't do is talk about another man's mother. Mama Dynamite is a good lady. I've, she's a good lady. I've, I, haven't quite, I haven't met her, but I would assume that she's a good lady. Wonderful. If, you, if she raised a man like that, uh, she's done something right. She made the tassels on those boots. <laughs> and, uh, Mari Mariachi in, in deep trouble here. Rico's going for something there. Possibly a crucifix uh -oh. power bomb. It's a hate driver. Oh, wow. He's got him up in the lights here. Mariachi is in trouble! Eric Carana, pin one, two! Rico's out of there! You gotta call that an upset. That's two for two in a row. Well, Mariachi is doing real well so far. And now Rico is gonna get sent to the showers early. I wonder who's next.
Well, thankfully, well, I guess I guess Mariachi's getting a breather for now. Given who's left, I mean, it's not looking good for uh, Mariachi Loco. Well, the fans apparently arguing with one another. And uh, oh, oh man! No. Mariachi is in for a long night, man. He just went the daily double. That music only means one thing. Oh, uh, his teeth! Oh boy. Oh wait! Mariachi, look out! Where's that? German suplex! Oh man. Uh, look at look at Tito taking the sloppy seconds. I've heard that about him. Well, Tito, no stranger to taking the uh no, actually, no, I'm going to keep my comment to myself on that one. <laughs> but uh, Tito, that's a very nonchalant cover. Oh. And now Tito just picking up the pieces. I mean, I will admit that is intelligent uh, tactics, uh, tactics they're shown by hate. Or even more so, Los Banditos, both of them former AWS tag champs. One of the more dominant teams in all of SoCal. I know. Oh, look at Teets. He's got time to flirt. He's eyeing that eye candy right there in the front row. I think she might already be taken by that mammoth of a man with a beard. Oh, come on. That has never stopped Tito Escondido in the past. Yeah, yeah true. There is one guy over in East LA that he clocked with just one shot. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, it's a bit of a violent party. Oh. And Tito just wearing out Mariachi and twists the arm over. Wow. wow. Twist Mariachi inside out with that lariat. Raw on a delta rated power. The fans steadily behind hate member oh, Tito Escondido. Mariachi yeah. needs, needs to execute some form of offense real slick, quick, and in a hurry, or else he's not going to last much longer. Those punches and chops can only do so much on the bigger and stronger Tito. And now off the ropes in reverse. Irish whip. Look at that! Wow! How the hell are we out of that quick hurry, Corona? Oh. Suicide died by Did Tito Escondido. Oh, wait. <laughs> I thought Vader was a man, Tito. Get control, Justin. Get control. Well, Tito. He stole, he stole that, Francis. Do it. Get in the ring. He just took Get in the ring. Oh, he's he, got took that, he just took that custom title away from one of the fans. Hey, those things cost a lot of money. 41 isn't young. I don't, really, I don't really think that belt really suits him. I would consider uh, Tito as more like a rated X superstar. Well, I mean... He was a grown ass man bringing a title belt to a show. That's kind of, that tells you all you need to know right there. <laughs> oh, shoot. Mariachi just dumped unceremoniously on the middle rope. Tito making friends as always. Oh my god, WWE Superstar Edge is pissed. He is pissed. He might come out of retirement. Well, I guess that man is taking uh, some time out of his busy schedule oh to come god. and see us this that evening. That has a red strap. We should boo him. I'm so scared. I know, right? I know. What the hell is They're Tito doing? He's gone all the way to the other side of the building and now. Tight roping onto the chairs. And an eye. He just poked Mariachi right in the eyes there. How can you tell? He's got a mask on. <laughs> well, I would say that he was intelligent enough to get the fingers in the eye holes. Not the fans want one more. Not that his fingers have ever uh, been a stranger to a hole before. And now Tito making his way to the other side of the building once again. And Mariachi I knew it. is getting I knew the crack kick. Oh! oh! <laughs> he just caught Tito with a mouth with that elbow. I knew if I flaunted my accomplishments, people would try to take it. Well, finally, Justin Board initiates a 10 count. I really don't think the fans really want to see a, a count out here. I mean, if both of them are counted out, both of them are eliminated. I've never seen that in a gauntlet match. Me neither. And now Mariachi and Tito fighting on the outside. Oh, oh, boy. Tito's really drawing the hate of the fans, especially that. Oh! oh! Mariachi brought unceremoniously back into the ring. I mean, I would assume that he caught him on the groin muscle there. And a oh! What a suplex by Tito Escondido. That was nasty. And That's got to be all. I mean, there's got to be nothing left of Mariachi. Well, look at it. He's limp right. He's completely limp right now. He's barely even moving. The quote-unquote bad dude not making it up to the top rope right away. Well, Tito is not very smart, though. Oh, wait. Kip up. Oh! 
sends Aguirre to the back of the head. Tito has maintained his grip and up on the top rope. And now Mariachi, he's got something fresh. Shit! Mariachi is going for something, trying to springboard. His foot slipped off the wow. rope. Wow! Oh. Corona off the top! The fans, those ropes get mighty slippery over the course of the event, but... It's not so much that Loco's tired. How long has he been out there now? This is his third fight. He's been out there for at least well over 20 minutes. And now, laying down onto the oh. ring apron. Yeah, there's nothing left. Uh, shoulder to the midsection. And Mariachi! Springboard leg drop! You gotta go for the cover! You gotta cover him right there, right now! He's, rolling, he's trying to he's trying no. to find him. Here he, he goes. He's he he discombobulated. Into Justin, two! A, a fresh local would have got the cover on that one. As you mentioned, he's starting to lose gas. I mean, no matter how talented or how great your conditioning is, there is a point where the human body starts to give out on you. And now Rico. Oh. Nice dicks. You mean ball. Tito. Excuse me, Tito. Rico, Tito. I'm sorry. <laughs> and now yeah. flip side of it. Mariachi. Nice snap jabs. Forearm. Mariachi. This is not the time to dance. Nice super kick right on Tito. And now Tito seeing stars trying to maintain his balance. Mariachi. Wait. Whoa, whoa. Into an, caught him in an electric chair. Spins him around. Oh. <laughs> power bomb. No. Oh, look at the strength. That's two power bombs. Keats might go for three. Two. Here comes the hat trick. Oh, he's got him up. Mariachi trying to fight his way out of it. Up onto the shoulders. Oh, could it be a DVD? A cutter? Whoa. Oh, wow. Right to the knees, holy moly, that's gotta be all. That's gonna be, that's it. He's out of there. What a fighting heart Mariachi had there. Mariachi tried his damnedest, but he can only go so far. We still have two men left, Mike. Who's it gonna be? Who's left? I'm not quite sure. We're gonna find out in just a moment. In the, pro in the middle of this, Tito gets a breather. And Mariachi is going to take a shower. We have showers? Well, we have a hose in the back. Oh, no. Oh, this is going to be a good fight here. Oh, wait. No way. No way. Oh, oh yeah. One half of the current AWS Tag Team Champions. Go Cholo. Listen to this response, my goodness. I feel good. And a Mariachi's mentor, Carlo consoling him. He fought well, but now it's time to, it's time to go, brother. I think Tito's making a mistake. He should have jumped him out the gate, but I think he wants a straight up fight. Oh, well, we're gonna see ourselves a nice street fight here, boy. All right, here we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, you see, ring. Cholo slipped, and Tito took advantage. Oh, move, move, move. oh, oh, oh. Tito caught a forearm on the way out. The floor is starting to get slippery with all the sweat and blood. Excuse me, the sweat and the beer outside. You don't have any blood out here yet. Not yet. The night's young. Now, Cholo. Now, Tito is seated right next to the merchandising table and catches a sneaker right to the face. Oh, my God, he almost hit that fan. He could have died. Uh, I think really there's a cover on that fan. He's going to chop him up, Mike. <laughs> it's going to get nasty. Well, this, well, this section of the gauntlet match has not officially started yet, fans. Both of the men have yet to get inside the ring. And Cholo, and Cholo a Grand Slam winner in his own right, a former heavyweight, lightweight, and tag team champion. His most recent time, <coughs> excuse me. And this is the part of the show we can't see, Mike. I, yeah, you're right. Oh, there, here they come. I'm sure that Cholo would love to wear that AWS Heavyweight Championship once again. Of course, Cholo, of course, Cholo sporting that Lucha Underground shoulder band. Chop right to the midsection, and Tito returns it. Well, finally, men roll, finally, men roll their way into the ring, and this part of the gauntlet match has officially begun. And Cholo, Cholo oh man, what a kick to the gut! I know. Oh, gut red suplex! Nicely oh, done. Oh, I ain't seen that in a fortnight, Mike. 
Well, Tito's the type of person that can uh, uncork any kind of maneuver. A very talented wrestler. But not to take anything away from Cholo, who's been in this business for God knows how long. And has beaten some of the best and brightest in this industry. And oh, that can run right there. Hook him. One, two. Oh, wow. Cholo couldn't keep him down. Just kick to the mid. Look at this athleticism of Tito Escondido. Always confounds me. And now Tito looking for a good target. He's making his way in. He misses. Now Cholo flying forearm. And now Cholo in the opposite end. Tito catches a forearm of his own. And now, now what the hell? Not bringing him around. Oh. Nice blue thunderbomb. Ow. Wait, his shoulder's not quite all the way down. He was on his own leg there. He landed on the ankle. And I, I sure now, hope that that didn't cause any damage to Tito's ankle there. The the effects of this heat and being in that ring it seems to be taking its effect on Tito now. Well, I don't know if you've seen any of the wrestlers in the back, they're all carrying a gallon jug of water. I'm sure that all of them have chugged that entire thing before their event started. That's always a risky thing to do, because then you got to pee, Mike. Oh, you sweat so much inside the ring. I don't even think you would have to, would you? And now Cholo throws off the headband. And now Tito up on the middle rope. Nice oh. flipping neck breaker. In some circles, that's called the blockbuster, and he busts the block of Cholo on that one. <laughs> And now Tito slowly rolling into the pin. One, two. Ooh. And that wasn't even that much of an effective pin. He just barely got his arm over the chest of Cholo. Let's give props to Justin Borden. He's been out there the whole time. <laughs> and he's not even a he's not even a trained wrestler, so I man, no, that man's gonna be hurting right now. And now Tito. Tito is wasting time right now. He needs to jump he, on Cholo. He really is, you're right, Mike. And now he's got a waist lock, and now Tito. Cholo trying to fight his way out of it. Breaks the grip, standing switch, back elbow. And Cholo catches a couple in the air, full Nelson. Oh, oh. clever move there, just bonked the back of his hand into the nose of Tito, flings him off. Super kick to the chin. Oh, now Cholo got something behind here. Springboard! Oh! Oh! That's gotta be it! Cholo for the cover, one, two! Wow! You see the surprise of Cholo's face, that usually is it. I'm surprised, everyone in this building is surprised. That shows the resiliency of Tito Escondido. And the fit. Well, I think the Cholo fans are actually starting to outshine the hate fans. Well, you're saying Cholo's a mainstay here. You can't expect anything less. And I'm representing Orange County. Now Cholo trying to think of what he needs to do to finish off Tito and hopefully move on in this gauntlet match. He's given the high sign. There's only one man left. And now, wait, Fireman's carry. Swing around to a schoolboy. One, two, three. Tito's out of there. And not taking anything away from Tito. He showed a great effort out there. And well, if I know my math, there's only, you know one man left. We know who it is. Oh boy. Well, Cholo is now one step closer to possibly.